Yeah, the most common misunderstanding is to conflate the simulation hypothesis with the simulation argument. The simulation hypothesis is the statement that we are living in a computer simulation. I think that is less than 50% likely to be the case. However, I do believe in the simulation argument, which shows or purports to show that one of three propositions is true. One of which is the simulation hypothesis. But then there are these other two propositions as well that also are alternatives. The possibility that almost all civilizations go extinct before reaching technological maturity and the possibility that there is this strong convergence among all technologically mature civilizations such that they all lose interest in creating ancestor simulations. Um, and it, it's hard, it's hard to, for people to keep those two ideas apart. Uh, I think there is a kind of um, complexity limit in, in, in a lot of media communication that it's easy enough to convey kind of one idea and in, in more highbrow media you might convey an idea that has two parts like on the one hand this and on the other hand that but the simulation argument kind of has three components and it just seems to exceed the communication bandwidth it just gets a little bit too complex for popular media sometimes but it's it's a little bit complex but it's really not more complex than most like educated people could probably get their heads around if they thought about it for half an hour or an hour kind of if they actually tried it, it doesn't require a PhD to get your head I mean it, it is a little bit of complexity there but it's just a little bit too much to fit in normally in, in a sort of five minute interview setting